Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel of 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, your All Signs Collective reading. We're gonna see what energy comes through here for you. Mm, beautiful, you got the sun there. What else can you share with the collective? I will also say there will be um, a free extended reading that will follow this reading. There's no separate link. Uh, so with that, let's get started because uh, I already gotten some sun energy here. I'm gonna pull the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the love oracle has to say. Mm. All right, so this is what I'm picking up here. Somebody here has feelings for you, okay? <clears throat> Somebody is strategizing coming towards you. I'm going to start with these two cards first. You have roll the dice, and you also have here romantic feelings. Someone's going to take a chance with you. That's the strong energy I'm feeling here. Someone has already developed some sort of love feelings affection for you you know everybody's in a different phase in their love life but there is someone around you who has feelings for you on some level and i feel like this is someone who's getting ready to do something about it interesting energy okay can also talk about happiness somebody who sees you as somebody they could fall in love with or has fallen in love with you have the sun card here, beautiful energy. Some of you, this is Leo season, which actually I believe starts on the 23rd. But this also talks about the heart chakra opening. Someone I feel is opening their heart here for you. Someone's gaining the courage and the strength um, to tell you the truth about how they feel because this also talks about the truth revealed. And then we also have here structure. This talks about structure and foundations, building something, okay, building a foundation. It's also a very slow and steady energy, very interesting. And then you also have here alchemy, okay. This is temperance, but it's also an energy of uh, doing things in moderation, finding balance. So it's really interesting here is that the roll of the dice can also be, um, I'm gonna say here, kind of a cross between a Two of Pentacles and uh, the Fool card here. But I feel like this is somebody who is coming towards you, who is getting ready to like show you and open up to you about how they feel. Wow, I just have to say, very, very interesting energy, okay? And I'm going to tell, the, tell you this is somebody who is single, or it can also be somebody who's feeling alone with that energy, and you also have here a uh, soulmate, okay? So you got a soulmate here. I don't know who this is. You know, I'm just going to say for some of you, it could be a newer energy or somebody new coming into your life. Uh, some of you, it could be somebody who wasn't available in the past and now they're available. So if you know who this is um, or, or you think it's somebody new coming in, let me know in the comments. All right, cards are already popping out here. I'm going to pull your cards before we say anything more. definitely someone you know somebody you know I feel here okay it doesn't have to be an ex okay but there's something here about you've met this person before because on some level they have feelings for you so let's get started you have justice and you also have here the three of wands see someone's taken a chance on you okay I feel like with this justice energy it's like a confession of love feel like somebody's getting ready here to confess their true feelings for you and look here's the queen of cups the queen of cups is emotional it's emotion here 
So someone's getting ready. Three of Wands. It's coming. That's what I feel here with this Three of Wands. It's coming. There's, this opportunity is coming to you, somebody who is feeling this way. I'm trying to figure out which cards I want to clarify with. Uh, I guess here, let's use this deck. We'll just get a couple shuffles. I'm a little, uh, you know, what should I say? <laughs> A little bit all over the place only because um, I just came back I was on vacation so I was celebrating my birthday some of you already know because I posted that today so let's see why uh, why is justice here oh my gosh look at it yes twin flame somebody you're coming into balance with this is yin and yang energy um, it's two people who complement each other. So like I said, there's a confession here. See, it, it does, it's somebody from your past. You have the camera here. And I'm gonna say it doesn't necessarily have to be one of those toxic relationships. Like I said, it could be somebody you know, could be your twin flame, doesn't have to be twin flame, but it could just mean that it's somebody who complements your energy. And this is someone who wants to make memories with you here with the camera. Um, but it can also be somebody reminiscing and thinking about you strongly is that energy, okay? Seeing separation, this also talks about missing you. Now, it doesn't necessarily, like I said, mean that it's an ex, but some of you it could be. Now, you have uh, the Queen of Cups and the, the Two of Wands. See, this shows me this is someone who has feelings for you. They're taking action because on some level, they have affection for you, happiness for you, or they have love for you. So let's clarify this two of wands. Let's see what that action is. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. Why is this two of wands here, please? Why is the two of wands here, please? Wow. I'm going to pull one more. I just feel like one more card needs to happen here. Yeah, okay, that's why. I'm just going to say, some of you, not all of you, some of you are like a social butterfly, I'm hearing. Like, this person sees you as a social butterfly, or they may see you socializing, going out, having fun. Um, but see, this person is coming to the realization and truth about how they feel about you because you have here the, the sword and the road. This is sword and the rose. This is all about clarity and truth. So I feel like you got somebody here who is realizing what they truly feel for you. Now, again, here's the parting. That's what I was saying because you have butterfly here too. Like I said, I feel like they're seeing you as a social butterfly. But it also tells me that this is somebody I feel who wants to connect with you. You got talking. This talks about they're interested. They're interested in you. They're invested somehow emotionally with you or they just already have some affection for you. They want to talk more. This is text. This is calls. This is messages. Okay, so I feel like this person's getting ready to take some sort of action. They're making the decision, and I feel like it's somebody that sees a future with you. So very, very interesting here. This is someone who's been kind of planning, too. Planning. I'm going to say for some of you, um, this could be somebody who is at a distance, who lives at a distance. And for some, maybe you haven't heard from this person, you know, after a period of time. You have uh, the hangman. Yeah, and the Six of Cups. See, again, somebody who's having epiphanies, some realizations about you. You've made some sort of impression on this person in the past, or you have some sort of history, and they're really just thinking about the memories. They're, they could be missing you, but it also can talk about making memories, and it's a soulmate energy. So with this hangman energy, I feel like things have kind of been delayed here about this person coming towards you. Let's clarify this hangman. Tell me more about this hangman. Okay, this is an attraction card, okay? Um, and then we also have here coffee cup, okay? This could be somebody who was dating somebody else, I'm just saying. That could be the delay here. Maybe they were, they were talking or dating with somebody else. 
Um, I'm going to say here, if this is somebody that didn't work out in the past, there could even be, um, you know, like another person involved here. But there has been a delay. And I feel that delay here is that um, this person may have been dating someone else. Now, it could be somebody you were casual with and maybe they weren't acting serious. That's that energy as well. But look, look what's on the bottom of the deck. You have engagement ring and you have Cupid's arrow, okay? I feel like this person is thinking a whole lot differently, okay? Um, or this is how this person is thinking about you, okay? So they may have just uh, been casually dating, but somebody here sees the real thing with you with that energy. I'm just going to say, wow, and look, you have paradise, happiness, this is joy, um, this can even talk about travel. This also talks about a honeymoon phase. So I feel very strongly here. Someone is coming towards you. And there's a new phase here between you and this person. Okay, and that's if you want this. Okay, does it necessarily mean maybe some of you aren't ready for this? Or, you know, you know who this person, maybe you're not interested. I don't know, but we'll see what comes through. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. I feel like you could potentially in the Knight of Pentacles upcoming here. It's showing me this definitely could be something that worked out. You're going to see the effort with this person. This, I, I'm saying here, I feel like this could, there could be a lot of potential here with this person. We're going to, in the extended, we're going to dive deeper about this person's, what they're thinking, their feeling, their actions and intentions. But let's see what else we have here. We have the Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups. Well, there's hesitation. This person, like I said, there's been a delay here, uh, but I feel like, this could tell me you're going to be you're hesitant about this or they're hesitant so let me i feel like it's them okay now that i'm looking at roll the dice this person may be a little bit hesitant and they've been oh yeah they've been holding back look four of pentacles and the nine of cups they've been holding back how they really feel about you or you know like it's like when you know somebody feels really happy to be with you and they kind of hold back you know maybe a little bit afraid to be vulnerable that could be that energy so let's clarify this four of cups tell me more about the four of cups and like i said um the seduction card i'm gonna say it doesn't necessarily mean seduction it could also tell me um oh wait maybe it, this person wants to seduce you that could be too okay or the fantasizing about you but it's more than that because you got higher commitment here and love is coming this is also a surprise invitation tell me more about this for a cups this person's you're going to hear from this person they're going to ask to meet up with you tell me more about this four of cups tell me more about this four of cups Oh, I think they're going to try and seduce you. Let's see here. Okay. Interesting, because you have karmic relationship, you have shock, and you also have here old school. This is somebody you let go. This is somebody, either it's somebody that like you weren't interested in the past, and like I said, doesn't have to be an ex. Either you weren't interested in the in this person in the past, and I'm gonna say it could be like, maybe there were some red flags, maybe you felt this person, like it maybe, you know, things were too intense or you didn't feel like there was stability with this person. I'm also getting like, you may feel like this person like their way of thinking was like really outdated or on another level some of you were in a very intense uh ter i don't tormentulous no tumultuous oh i'll just say um in a very 
chaotic situation with somebody, okay, you've got a karmic relationship, uh, could be somebody who triggered you, uh, you know, uh, you got the shock card here too, again, old school. So it may be somebody that you feel on some level, you don't know if this is someone you want to entertain an offer from because either you went through some heavy stuff with this person or I'm sensing that it's um, a newer person, somebody you decided not to proceed with because you saw red flags, okay? And it may be, um, you know, maybe the intensity of this person or the way that they thought about relationships, but whoever this person is, this person is seeing like the real deal with you, which is really interesting, okay? So with that, let's get into the extended portion. We're gonna start by what this person is thinking or feeling about you. Now I'm gonna to say too, this tells me for some of you, this could be somebody in the past who couldn't commit. Like they were just being casual, you know, with that seduction. Some of you, they could have dated somebody else. Um, but I feel like this person, whoever is coming towards you, on some level they have uh, feelings for you. So let's ask now, what is this person thinking or feeling about you right now? Oh, interesting. I'm going to say very strong energy, the first thing I'm picking up, right? You have the Queen of Wands here. It's somebody who sees you as very, very attractive, okay? Very attracted to you. They may see you as sexy, uh, maybe seeing you take really good care of yourself. Um, but see, look, Nine of Pentacles, all right? They may also see you as generous, kind, um, it's also an energy of you may, this person may feel at peace with you, but look, Seven of Cups, I feel like they may also see you as single and having options is what I'm feeling here too. But see, look, they have romantic feelings for you, Knight of Cups and the, and the Lovers. They have feelings for you. This is someone who feels on some level they could fall in love with you. They feel chemistry. They feel attraction, very drawn to your energy. You do have uh, the devil. I'm just going to say I feel like with this, they feel a very passionate, I'm going to say sexual energy with you. They may you know, even fantasize with the two of you being together. And the page of wands, it again, shows me they desire you. Okay, so I feel like not only is there chemistry, passion here, desire, but there is uh, feelings here as well. Let's see what this person's upcoming actions are. What's this person's upcoming actions towards you? Ooh. Wow. Wow. Some of you definitely, I feel like there could, um, either there's, um, you went through an ending with this person because I do see the death rebirth card here, but I see it also here with the Hierophant. So this could tell me there's an upcoming change in a relationship, whether this is with you or whether this is somebody who just came out of, this could be someone who was in another situation, but um, this is somebody who is, a, I feel like there's something here about this person feeling alone here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, maybe they feel like you don't notice them or you don't pay attention to them or you don't put, you know, they don't see you like making any effort, okay? It's gonna be different for everyone, but you've got the King of Wands here. So they're taking some sort of action. 
I do feel like this is somebody who definitely has a lot of ego, okay? They could have a lot of ego, a lot of pride. But they are somebody who tries to be dependable and responsible, okay? But I do feel like at times this person holds back on doing things because of their ego. Let's see what else we have here. Now I do see the tower and I see the three of swords, okay? Either you had a breakup with this person, or I'm gonna say these three cards also tells me this could be somebody moving on from a past breakup, okay? So they may have be moving on from a past breakup, um, or because I see the Seven of Swords, especially with this energy, as also somebody who could uh, be moving on from a past relationship, moving towards something new. But it can also tell me that this person hurt you by not being honest in the past okay take it how it resonates but look at this this energy i see the sun i see the two of cups and the ace of swords see whatever this is there's communication this person i feel is taking some sort of action here to communicate with you as i said earlier they're going to take the chance okay for whatever reason they feel it's risky now they could feel it's risky here because they have been heartbroken maybe they're the ones who have been taken advantage in the past right and they had something severe that broke their heart but whatever your situation is they're they're taking that chance to come towards you see look at two of cups because on some level they see you as a partner or they have feelings for you and they see happiness and look the ace of swords communication fresh start new beginning that's what's transforming here this they want to take some sort of action to transform this connection yeah look at the hierophant six of swords their higher self is telling them this Six of Swords here tells me they want things to move in a new direction between the two of you. And the Six of Swords moves towards something stable. <clears throat> Let's see what their intentions are. What's this person's intentions coming towards you? What's this person's intentions coming towards you? Got the Four of Swords, Six of Swords, right? So they're doing nothing here with the Four of Swords right now. Okay, they've been doing a lot of thinking about it. But soon that's going to change. They want to change things here with that Six of Swords. So it feels like they've been doing a lot of thinking. All right, how do I change things? Um, and they're using their knowledge, right? Their knowledge from the past. Yep, Hierophant, they want to move towards a relationship. That's the change, the transformation here with the Death Rebirth card king of pentacles towards something stable chariot again they want to move things in a new direction the high priestess and the four of wands yeah their intuition is telling you telling them that you are the one here with this four of wands i'm just gonna say wow i don't see bad intentions here so i don't feel like this is a toxic person I know I'll get that comment from somebody like they're toxic but remember I said here it doesn't necessarily mean this is an ex but I feel there's good intentions here someone who wants a relationship with you that maybe has not taken the chance to really open up and tell you how they feel so I hope uh, you enjoyed your reading I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love